Counter store, I. This is my counter store, I, 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 I. My counter store. It's real in the field, the and they know field. that our passion is real. The passion is real. Given the circumstances, the circumstances. I, gotta give me a meal. I gotta give me a meal. The people are watching, the people are my, back watching. Is the my back is a target. No matter the struggle, no matter the I, struggle. Know I'm I know where I'm walking. It's real in the field, it's real in the field. It's real in the field. I, I, I. It's real in the field. They tell you to do what you feel. People in the society, my people are crying. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the premiere edition of Counter Stories, a talk show for the younger, you know, cooler generation. I'm your host, N-O-Y-A Noya. And I'm your hostess, Tiffany. We are so excited for you all to be joining us today. Yes, yeah, so on Counter Stories is a space for teens to freely talk and debate amongst each other about different social justice issues, current events, and concerns plaguing the community. See, our goal is to help break the dominant story while helping you build your own counter story, an alternative, more open-minded and resourceful outlook on things. It's also a creative space where we highlight artists to engage and challenge the thinking of our guests and the motivation from individuals doing big things in our own city, DC. Yeah, you know it. So before we get started, let me shout out my man, DJ Rizza, the ruler on the ones and twos. Yeah, yeah. give me Hey, hey, what's been going on with you, Tiff? Well, you know, senior year at okay. Tech L17, you know, 2K17. On my way to college, applications, all this crazy, busy stuff, you know. Okay, okay. What about you? I have a few things. Uh, Noya Quick Picks going to be out on DTLRradio.fm, so shout out to the DTLR yeah. family. We also had the fame gang with my sister, Dynamic Duo, so you can be sure to hit us up. And then, of course, everything on YouTube, Noemi Swirl on all social media. Yeah. So, all right, let's get it in. We got a fully loaded show for you today. We're going to check it in with the city and see what's going on in our area. Yeah. Also, we'll be warming up the audience with a couple of challenge activities and then talk with professionals, sharing ways to stay safe even when you feel like there's no one there to help. And we'll also have an in-depth discussion about teen domestic violence. And finally, a dope performance from a DMV artist that's definitely on the rise. That's but indeed. first things first, let's check in with Jordan in the city. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jordan with your very important check-in. So we're back in school and should be adjusted and focused on schoolwork. But did you know that some schools have begun extending school year programming? Yes, you heard that right. Beginning this school year, some DTBS schools will be operating on an extended school year calendar that allows a longer school year with more frequent breaks. The idea is to eliminate summer learning loss among the city's most underserved communities. Not a bad idea, right? The schools are all elementary and middle schools. Mayor Bowser stated, we will offer students the equivalent of an extra year of learning by the time they have reached the eighth grade. That's a great accomplishment. That is an awesome example of being a counter story, right? Salute to Mayor Bowser. According to Black Enterprise, strides are currently being made in cancer research thanks to the contributions of Dr. Heidi and Nicole Green, one of less than 100 black women physicists in the U.S., an assistant professor at Tuskegee University. Dr. Green was recently awarded a $1.1 million grant to develop a cancer treatment involving lasers and nanoparticles. The technology works in part using a drug containing the nanoparticles being administered to the cancer patient. When the patient is put under imaging equipment, the particles are then activated by a laser resulting in the tumors glowing. 
I'm really hoping this can change the way we treat cancer in America, says Green. There are so many people who only get a three month or six month survival benefit from the drugs that they take. Then three or six months later, they're sent home with no hope, nothing else they can do. Those are the patients that she wants to try to save, the ones where regular medicine isn't effective for them. Through Dr. Green is not the first to propose the use of lasers and nanoparticles to treat cancers. She has been able to work out the kinks and parts of the technology that have been problematic, like nanoparticle delivery and seeing success in living animals. Surely, this is only the beginning for Dr. Green. Already, we're eagerly watching for what's next. Finally, we are on the brink of election day. Yep, you heard that right, it's coming really fast. Pre-registration is a required procedure that allows individuals younger than 18 years of old, most of us, <laughs> to vote. So they are eligible to cast a ballot when they reach the age of 18. The central goal of pre-registration is to encourage voting among young people, the group that consistently has the lowest turnout rates. Boo for us. <laughs> In past decades, pre-registration has steadily emerged as an election reform across the U.S. Pre-registration states vary in terms of their registration age limits. Some states allow as young as 16-year-olds to pre-register, while other states do not specify an age limit. Instead, these states allow youths to register to vote before the age of 18, provided that they will be voting age by the time the next general, of the next general election. Don't be one of the many thinking and venting that voting doesn't help. Be proactive. Be a counter story in your family and your friends. Get registered and get ready to vote. Everything is good in our world. We're checked in. Thanks, Jordan. We'll be right back after this. Michael Adams? Here. Michael Adams? Here. <laughs> Michael Adams? Here! Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. Keep track at boostattendance.org today. Welcome back. So, we mentioned earlier that we was going to do an activity. Well, the time is now, and we have the power and control wheel. Now, the power and control wheel is a tool used by a partner to use power and control in order to manipulate their relationship. The goal of this game is to understand the tactics of the abuser trying to control their victim. Right. So, this is pretty simple how it's explained. With power and control, we're going to have two teams, team one and team two. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> no shout outs. <laughs> Now with these teams, they're gonna have different scenario cues. Now with those scenario cues, they're gonna figure out which one fits on the wheel. Whichever has the most right answers wins. Like my team, thank you. Yeah, about that. So, let's go ahead over to team one and team two. Okay, the tallies are in. So you say your team was going to win. We'll see about that. I right. did, though. All right. So when it comes to team one, they have seven out of eight. Correct. When it comes to team two, they have eight out of eight. Correct. Hey. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me see. I told you. I told you. Okay. All right, you got it, you got it. I did. All right, so congratulations to team two for doing a great job. Now I have a quick question. After, you know, reviewing this, do you all feel as though you see more situations from previous experiences or from your friends as far as domestic abuse or teen domestic abuse? Yeah. yeah. Okay, is there any situations in particular you all would like to share that you know, happen to a friend or somebody close to you, you don't have to put their name out there or anything. 
Um, I have a friend, and using intimidation, her and her um, her mate, they mm. would argue all the time, and you know, he would yell and curse, and you know, all that type of stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, I just she asked me for um, advice on what she should do, and you know, I. I haven't really been through anything like that, so I just gave her, like, some little tips, you know, like, get away and, you know, just stop talking to him, leave him alone, even though she says, you know, it's hard, and, um, yeah, I just try to help her out with things like that, and I told her mom, mm-hmm. so, you know, because that's the most important thing, you go to somebody older, so. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Any other comments? <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I had a friend who had got pregnant and she decided to tell the boyfriend and when he found out he was not really happy about that situation. Mm-hmm. So he like he threatened to leave her and abuse her so she can have like if she didn't have um an abortion then mm-hmm. he would like no longer be with her or they would fight and things like that. So that was hard for me because I, I really cared for her and one time he actually decided to put his hands on her. She didn't know what to do. And I was there for her, right. and, and I told her to tell her her parents, but she loved him so much. Mm-hmm. But I, it still worked out, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a deep thing, you know. Love is blind in, in a lot of cases, especially when it's somebody that's dead to you, mm-hmm. hurts you. So you won't even think of any other way to stay away from them. It's like it's cool now. Maybe it, it get bad later, but then it get yeah. cool again, and you know you think it changed. So that's good that you was there for. It. All right. Well, I thank you all for helping and yeah. doing your thing. Y'all did a good job. Team one and team two. Team two. Thank you. We all win. <laughs> Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchool.com. I think it's safe to say that we all want to feel safe and supported within our communities. Today, our special guests are here to discuss some technological support that we can call a safety net in our hands. Ladies and gentlemen, from the national organization Men Can Stop Rape, please welcome Leah and Jasmine, how are you all ladies doing today? Good. Great. Okay, you. you feeling good? Yeah. yeah. All Happy right, to be here. I love that. <laughs> okay, so um, short and sweet, can you tell me a little bit about how this Ask DC app work? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so Ask DC stands for Assault Services Knowledge, and it originally started in 2012 with our university version called mm-hmm. UASK. Okay. Um, and so we created it. Um, I work for Men Can Stop Rape. Um, we created it in collaboration with the Office of Victim Services and Justice Grants out of D.C. Um, And in 2012, um, we had the the university version and then later launched the um, citywide version, Ask DC. Um, Mm. So right now, this platform provides all of the sexual violence resources available in the city um, in this one, you know, technology. So um, both a website and a downloadable app. Um, so we're talking about domestic violence, intimate partner violence, and sexual assault resources, um, all confidential, safe, and um, free on this one platform. Oh, wow. That's nice. Okay, so what is the motivation that created this in the first place? Yeah, so we know um, that people who experience sexual violence um, really don't know exactly where to go after they've experienced that violence um, and are unsure of different resources available to them or mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, where they can seek services. So we worked with local service providers and thought about, um, you know, what is a good way to um, centralize all of these resources and information so that someone could, you know, open up their phone or Google, um, Google search something and um, find everything, you know, in one place. Yeah, this is actually nice. It reminds me of like a yellow pages type of thing going on with yeah. the color scheme. So that's cool. Um, can you break down the features? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Ask DC is available in eight languages. Um, oh, wow. And yeah, so it includes Chinese, um, Korean, Amharic, English, Spanish, Russian, um, 
and Vietnamese. Wow. Yeah. And so some of the features include medical services, so that's you know a free ride to the hospital to receive a sexual assault nurse examiner exam. Um, it includes you know in the moment services, so accessing the panic button um, to call 911 or wherever you are, um, the local emergency personnel. Mm -hmm. And then it also covers follow-up services, so counseling. Um, legal services, very community specific services as well. Okay. Through, yeah. um, so what is a real life situation that you know you might be able to explain and use in the app? Yeah, so um, one of the features on the app is also the ability to add contacts and then um, send messages directly to those contacts on your phone. Um, mm -hmm. So for me, I know I've um, created a customized message on the platform that says I'm walking home and I can send that message out to the contacts that I've selected so to my friends and okay. so um, with that message that says I'm, I'm walking home from you know U Street or from this location um, they'll have my GPS location as well so they'll know exactly where I am in the city or um, you know if they know I'm supposed to be home in 20 minutes and I'm not there um, that you know they can send a text out to me so that's one situation. Another one is, um, you know, really if, if you know someone in your life who's experiencing domestic violence or sexual assault, um, it's a really great bystander intervention tool. So mm -hmm. it's, um, you know, something that anyone can use as a tool. And um, they can go to the platform and find resources to refer to a friend or, right. you know, a colleague, roommate, you know. Well, speaking of, you know, finding more, how exactly, you know, like where can I find the Ask DC app mm -hmm. and where can I learn more even though you explain a great deal? Yeah, so the app is available for both iPhone and Android users. Um, right. So it's on the iTunes store and the, the Android Google Play store. Um, mm. it, and you can also look at the website. Um, it's askdc.org. Um, it's where you can find it. And it's a completely free platform. So really accessible and open to, to anyone. Okay. So Jasmine, I had a question for you. Now, as a young woman, how important is this Ask DC app for a young woman like yourself? Very important. Me being a young black um, female in DC, you know, sometimes it gets rough and a lot of times I have to travel at night. So Ask DC is like a, a safe haven kind of, you know, like mm -hmm. in, a, in case of an emergency, I can, you know, just hit the button. My friends will be alerted or the police. And I feel like it's really important um, in cases where um, domestic violence and uh, and sexual violence because that happens a lot and it happens um, it's happening more it's getting um, you know more uh, relevant so this app is very relevant very okay. important. Okay, and by the relevance of it, what about the app do you like the most? My personal favorite is the fact that they have you ask, and I think that's really cool because mm. it has like all of the um, universities, all of the eight universities in DC. So instead of having like a broader DC thing, the people who are college students they get to have a more personal, intimate type app. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as far as you know, your friends, how would you explain to them how important it is? Like, how do you get more more women to participate and get this Ask DC app? Because some people feel as though they don't need it until something happens. So, how do you try to convince them to check it out? Well, mostly I would just try to like stress the the, um, the issue of domestic violence and sexual mm -hmm. violence and things like that, and try mm -hmm. to get them to understand that it could happen to anyone and. Um, if it happens, it might be too late, and you might not have the app or resources that the app holds. So, basically, right. we we'll try to tell them, try to you know, stop it before it's too late. Okay. And what would you say to people that say, "Hey, this Ask DC app takes too much space on my phone"? What would you What would you say to them? I would tell them I'll be real, and I tell them stop fronting because <laughs> when they don't have enough space for their pictures or their selfies, they make space. So make space for SDC because it's more important than your selfies. Hey, <laughs> that's self-explanatory. I thank you two mm -hmm. for letting us, you know, get the information about Ask DC. Um, is there any other way that they can, you know, get more information? You said the app and the website? Yep, yep, the app and the website. And I just want to say, um, you know, it's really great that Jasmine brought up the, um, the You Ask version. Mm -hmm. um, you Ask is available to all eight campuses um, in oh, the D.C. area. Um, and we also have a few other versions. We have statewide versions for um, the state of Arizona, Connecticut, um, North Dakota. And then we recently wa launched with um, Duke University. So we have a You Ask Duke um, wow. platform as well. Wow, that's yeah. great. All right, well, we have to take a short break. We'll be right back. 
They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat, ugly, disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, I am a witness and so are you. Welcome back. Today's trending topic is teen domestic violence. As all should know, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Throughout this month, we need to do our part in raising awareness about this epidemic. Domestic violence thrives when we are silent, but if we take a stand and work together, we can be a greater support to someone in need, helping to put a stop to domestic violence. Right, so we actually have a few statistics that we want you all to hear. Roughly 1.5 million high school boys and girls in the U.S. admit to being intentionally hit or physically harmed in the last year by someone they are romantically involved with. Wow. So 33% of adolescents in America are victim to sexual, physical, verbal, or emotional dating abuse. So what that means, more than half young women raped, which is 68%, knew their rapist either as a boyfriend, friend, or casual acquaintance. Only one third of the teens who were involved in an abusive relationship confided in someone about the violence. In the U.S., 25% of high school girls have been abused physically or sexually. Teen girls who are abused this way are six times more likely to become pregnant or contract a sexually transmitted infection. Alarmingly, Data reveals that early sexual activity appears to fuel dating violence and abuse among teenagers. And among all teens who had sex by age 14, 69% report having gone through one or more types of abuse in a relationship. The signs of abuse in a relationship are checking phones, emails, and social networks without permission, constant belittling or put downs, explosive temper, physically inflecting pain or hurt in any way, repeating pressuring someone to have sex, or isolation from family and friends. So the signs of a relationship violence victim are as follows. Changing in the way affection is shown, especially if unusual or inappropriate. Suddenly fears being touched suddenly on set of nightmares, changes in sleep patterns, difficulty sleeping, uh, sudden regression to childlike behaviors, you know, like bed wetting, thumb sucking, which is crazy, um, sudden unusual interests and or knowledge of sexual matters, including excessive masturbation, uh, cruelty to animals, sudden fear of bathing or toileting, a sudden fear of a person or place, and last but not least, depression, withdrawal, or mood swings. And with that news, we'll be right back. We taught him how to hit a baseball. How to hit a receiver. The strike zone. The net. You taught him how to hit the upper court. You even taught him how to hit the open man. How much time have you spent teaching him what not to hit? Welcome back to Counter Stories. We're having an amazing time and we hope that you are too. Coming to the stage, DC Rap Phenom, Project MC from Washington, DC. He has a passion for making positive music staring away from your traditional rap music and still making an impact. That's indeed a counter story. Show your love and support for Project MC. Uh, uh, let's do it, let's do it. Ah, uh, who run it? Who run it? Who run it? Who run it? He run it? She run it, he run it, nah, who run it? I run it, who run it? You run it, 
who run it? He run it, she run it, we run it. Evans is giving the vision. I treat it like it's a mission. I do it with no provision. Hit them, but I never listen. Negativity in the air. Say what you want, still don't care. Negativity to be without. You can never throw me off route, cause I don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I just won't stop, won't stop, won't stop. Till I'm on top, on top, on top. I won't stop, cause I don't stop till I'm on top. I Get it now, feeling my resilience, I gotta get it now Backing out better, so whatever come around Can't hold me down, hold me never I feel on top of the pyramids Hoping somebody is hearing this Visionaries really run the game Reason why the haters fearing it Now who said the sky is the limit? Cause I want a place with no ceiling And we don't want to feel restricted We leave that story up predicted Little vision, that's a guessing game Never know what's to be overcame Falling, falling down, hit the ground But we back and we back and we back again Back at it, we a tad bit of an addict. That's what happens when you add it. Heart to soul, the will to never quit. Will to live a life of iron fist. Who run it? Who run it? Who run it? Nah, who run it? I run it. And who run it? You run it. And who run it? He run it. She run it. We run it. We gon' run, run the game, run the game, run. Run the game till we can't run. Don't you worry when it's said and done. Victory. So run the game, run the game, run, run the game till we can't run. Don't you worry when it's said and done. Some never see that bigger picture. Never mind that, I ain't really with ya. No two spots, you don't get two shots. Look at who's here to forget who's not. Lord have mercy on them. I'm finna put a hurting on them. I won't even throw curses on them, put hearses on them when them verses on them. Uh. I'm looking like I'm mad with it. Nah, it's mad wicked how I'm mad with it. I flex on them, look fat with it. Say I'm killing them like Fab did it. Uh, apologies, bad with it. They don't believe we can act to get it. The facts sit it, I'm last to quit it. They're old anyways when they hat fit it. Non believer and a non believer. Division ain't doubt for the Mona Lisa. Mine ain't doubt who is born to lead her. So what can these say? Oh, I'm going to Nisha. Nah, man, never do, and never you, but I'ma be a better you. You say, you kill the dreams like Betty Lou? I'ma dodge everything like Betty Lou too. So what I got to say anyway, all my soldiers, we ain't come to play. COD, cause the world OC, gotta go OT, gotta leave on me. See, the world don't own me, neither do I own me. Fly or die, gotta put that on me, but I got it with or without Sony. Look in the mirror and I did not tell me. Who run it? Who run it? Who run it? He run it. She run it. We run it. Nah, who run it? Who run it? Who run it? He run it. She run it. We run it. We gon' run the game, run the game, run. Run the game till we can't run. Don't you worry when it's said and done. Victory is already won, so run the game, run the game, run. Run the game till we can't run. Don't you worry when it's said and done. Victory is already won. Ah! Project MC, I thank you for gracing the stage out on Counter Stories. We definitely appreciate that right there. I thank y'all for having me. Love yeah, it. man. Now, the knowledge you dropped, I was feeling this. So what, right, what is right. it called? Is it called Running or what? Yeah, the song is called Who Running, and basically it's about people, you have a dream, so you really run the future. You run your own future, so you need to get out and live your dream and let nobody stop you from living it. That's what's behind it. Now, you know, I know we have this show, but... It seems to me that you didn't have any like blurts or blanks no. in your music. I mean, is it reality rap? Is it gospel rap? What is it? The rap I do is a mix of inspirational rap music and okay. just good, clean party music. What I like to do is might take some time to inspire the people, give a message. It might take some time to just have a good time. It might sometimes might combine it. So basically, at the end, it's all positive, clean music. You can play anywhere, the church, the club, anywhere. It's all good music. Word. So what built you? to have the courage to pretty much go against the grain in this type of industry? Well, my mother is a fashion designer. So right. she's always been doing fashion. As you can see, she inspires me. And so with all that, she inspired me to do my music, which I get from my father. You know, My father did music, my grandfather did music. So all that combined influenced my style, my music, and influenced me to just have the confidence and go out and do what I love to do best. Now, speaking of influence of music, who do you like look at and was man. like, man, I want to take this and I want to take that and just build right. you? Well, from the style portion, you know, I got to say Kanye. People like okay. Kanye, like Andre 8000, like Pharrell. But mm -hmm. for the music part, most definitely Kendrick Lamar is my favorite rapper. You got J. Cole, another favorite rapper of mine. Logic, another favorite Word. rapper. So, Word. and everything they have in common is always good music with a clear message behind it, yet still so much lyrical ability. So that's why I aspire to be 
That's real, that's real. So for everybody that's seen you, that love your performance, love your music, how can they reach you? You all can follow me on Instagram, project.mc, okay. on Twitter, realproject underscore MC, my Snapchat, Project MC, and look me up on YouTube, Inspirational Rapper, Project MC. Man, you heard it first, man. I appreciate your time. You already know what this is, count the stories. One time for Project MC. Of course, my co-host Tiffany, DJ Rizza the Ruler on the ones and twos. And last but not least, the audience. I thank each and every one of you for coming out. Hey, you know what this is. It's your boy Noya. This is Counter Stories. Appreciate y'all. Till next time, y'all. No matter the struggle, I know where I'm walking.